Welcome back to my channel, Inspired by Nature. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite soup recipe, tortilla soup. Um, I've been making this recipe for over 20 years. I actually don't even remember where I originally got it, but I've loved it so much I've kept it all this time and um, I've veganized it. It was originally vegetarian and um, once I went vegan I kind of changed a couple things up. Um, you can make it however you'd like but um, it is so good. It is a bit time consuming but totally worth it. Um, there's a fresh puree base which really is what makes it so incredible. Um, so yeah, I'll be showing you how I made it and letting you know how it turned out. Um, even though it takes a while, it, it makes a huge batch. I think it's about enough for six people, I would say, um, depending on, you know, how much you eat. And then, you know, if you're not six people, then you just have a lot left over. And leftover soup is the best, especially on a rainy day or when you're at home, you don't feel like cooking. Um, so I recommend it. You can freeze it. Um, it goes really well with my guacamole, which is the previous recipe I shared. So like a side of chips and guac and this soup, maybe even a margarita. Mm, delicious. I'll include the recipe in the description. I'll also include a link to the guacamole recipe that I did in a previous video in case you want to make that on the side or for something else. Um, they go well together. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and sign up for notifications. I'm going to be doing more uh, plant-based cooking recipes as well as travel ones and just, um, yeah, I have a few other interesting ideas, uh, but involving nature and, and things that are in the environment here. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks so much. Inspired by nature. These are the ingredients for the vegan tortilla soup. Best soup I've ever had. Uh, so, so good. So, yeah, I have the corn tortillas. I really like this particular brand. Um, I'm not gluten-free, but there's just something about this brand that always works good for me. I think you can get it at most stores. Um, avocado is going to be for garnish. Six cloves, of, six cloves of garlic. Cilantro. Two tomatoes, because we're going to make a fresh tomato puree. Um, one whole onion, because we're going to make an onion puree, puree to, be, um, to go with the base two things of vegetable broth. I always do organic. I like Trader Joe's. Um, it's going to be a couple bay leaves, some chili powder, and I think there's some other ingredients in here too that kind of go with it, give it some flavor, a little kick. Um, I do Himalayan salt. Um, it calls for corn oil. I have always just done the olive oil, and then again for garnish I got the, got the vegan cheddar cheese. This brand is the best. Um, so yeah, I like to start with chopping up these tortillas and frying them. They're going to be the strips that go on top. Um, I find if I leave that till the end or later that I don't end up doing it. Um, another option is to do it like while the soup is cooking, but maybe just prep it ahead of time. So I think I might actually do that just to save time. And, um, let's get going, y'all. I have my, um, uh, chopped tortillas and my chopped garlic and my cilantro um, going here on the stove. Technically you can do this in the pot that you're going to cook it in. Uh, I just like to do it separate. So this is going to be in the soup. Um, if you don't like cilantro then you're not going to like this recipe because I love cilantro. Um, this is six corn tortillas chopped up real fine like that and it calls for a tablespoon of cilantro but I always do extra. I'll probably keep adding more. And then the other two tortillas from the eight pack, then I made into strips here. Um, it, if you're gonna be feeding a lot of people, then you wanna do more, I think it calls for like 18 or something, but since it's just me, I'm gonna uh, fry those later to put on top. And then usually I just do that the first day and then when I eat leftovers, I put like tortilla chips or something, or you can always fry more later. So getting this going. And then the next step I think is gonna be the puree. We're gonna have to get those tomatoes and onions um, cut up and blended um, in my little blender there. So, got a good start. Oh, it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. I cannot wait for this. I uh, sauteed the tortillas until they were soft, so they're just waiting in the bowl here. I have the strips um, all ready to go for later. I'm gonna uh, fry them up. And now on the blender, excuse my blender, it's not, it's actually really clean. It just doesn't look like it here. Um, I have the onion and then part of the tomatoes and a little bit of the veggie broth. I'm going to blend this up. Um, I do not have a high speed blender so I just have to do things 
in pieces um, but it's going to be the whole onion and then it's going to be two tomatoes when it's all said and done so I'm going to get that blended um, get that going to, to put in there. This is what the blended version ended up looking like um, just so you get an idea. So now that this is boiling um, this is the puree that I poured into there to mix with the tortillas. Um, now that it's boiling I'm going to put in two bay leaves. Um, it calls for about a tablespoon of um, of cumin and then uh, cayenne pepper cayenne pepper to taste. I just kind of wing it with this because this is a blend and then also add in the salt, add in the cilantro um, and that's the next step. Now after adding in all the cilantro I then poured in both cartons of veggie broth and now I'm waiting for it to come to a boil. Um, once it comes to a boil then I reduce it to a simmer and then this is the hard part. You just gotta wait minimum 30 minutes. Um, two hours is ideal to get the best flavor and I do feel like the longer you wait the better it tastes and this one um, tastes better as leftovers and the next day the flavor just keeps coming out more and more. So um, that's what I'm going to do now and then I'll show you the final product once it's all ready. Um, fry up those tortillas to put on top. I'll probably do that right, um, right when I'm about to serve it so it's fresh. I forgot to mention that I actually like to add in beans to my soup. Um, I prefer to do the dry ones and then I would have added them in now so they could be cooking with the soup. Um, but I could only find the canned ones so um, since these are already cooked I'll just add them in uh, right towards the end to give it a little extra protein. It's totally optional. It's not part of the original recipe but um, I, like to, I like to do it. I have something chunky in there too so I thought I'd add that simmering away um, and everything's looking good. I also like to do a little taste test and just see like spice wise and salt wise how it's doing. Um, the veggie broth I use is uh, low sodium so I needed to add a little bit more salt. Um, I like mine spicy so I added in some more of that spice blend um, and now I think it's it's going good. So I'll let you know how it turns out. This is what the final product ended up looking like. I didn't make a video of it. I thought it might be a little bit ASMR-y. Um, tasted really good. Put the tortilla chips on top. The vegan cheese, avocado, delicious. Uh, this recipe has been around forever. This is my original one I've had from over 20 years ago. Thought it'd be funny to include it with the uh, original handwriting stains and all, tried and true. And I ended up adding a little bit of this seasoned salt. Uh, this is what's in it in case you're um, wanting to put something in too, just to give it a little more pop and saltiness. Also remembered I had this vegan sour cream. I'd never tried this one before. It was really good. Not too salty, just add some texture to it. Uh, Kite Hill is a great brand. I've tried some of their other products. But this is the first time I had their sour cream. And this is what it looked like with all of that extra stuff added. It made enough to last me for I think a week. I ate a bowl a day. It was so good. And as I mentioned earlier, the flavor just keeps continuing to get better each day. Um, you can also freeze it and just have it for various rainy days. I love that it comes in a big batch and I definitely recommend it. I hope you guys try it, enjoy it. You can always modify it to your liking, um, but it is absolutely my favorite soup. So comforting and um, just always soothes the soul. So if you aren't a subscriber already, I'd love to have you. Um, please like this video if you enjoyed it and hope to see you in the next one. Inspired by nature.